Excellent! Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today I'm going to be doing a little video on this video card right here. This is the Galaxy GTX 680 GC, which is their term for the overclocked edition. And I'm just going to be giving you guys a closer look at the card itself because it does have a customized white PCB as well as a pretty cool aftermarket cooler. Uh, and then I'm going to be sharing some benchmarks because I did get a chance to test this in uh, one single card configuration as well as two-way SLI. So here's a closer look at the card as you can see, beautiful custom white PCB, you don't see white PCBs on many computer parts in general these days, uh, but as you can see it's a very nice clear white color, it's got a customized triple fan cooler on it as you can also see with a massive heat piped aluminum fin array keeping everything running nice and cool. Uh, I can confirm that this works very effectively as it kept the card uh, well within temperature ranges during my benchmarking sessions, even while it was in two-way SLI. But uh, here's some detailed specs on the card. Uh, the GPU inside is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680. That's the GK104 codename GPU based on their 28 nanometer uh, technology, uh, codename Kepler. Uh, it's got a PCI Express 3.0 interface uh, it also has 1,536 CUDA cores. It's DirectX 11.1 .1 compatible. Also includes 2 gigabytes or 2,048 megabytes of GDDR5 RAM on a 256-bit bus, giving you a total memory bandwidth of 192.3 gigabytes per second. Now this is an overclocked card. Uh, the base GPU clock is at 1111 MHz, 1111. It has a boost clock that will, uh, generally speaking, get it up to 1176 MHz, uh, assuming of course that the cards is operating within uh, temperature parameters set by NVIDIA. Uh, however, I can confirm that this particular card here was running along at 1188.9 MHz, or just about 1189 MHz during just about all of my tests. Also, the memory is clocked at 1,502 megahertz or 6,004 megahertz effective. So as far as temperature goes, uh, we never got up, up uh, higher than the low to mid 70s, and most of the time it's running in the mid to upper 60s. That's in Celsius, by the way, 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. Here's also a look at the video outs on the card, and here's one point where I was slightly disappointed with the design decision that Galaxy went with. As you can see, we have three mini HDMI outs, um, which is just fine. But uh, the adapters that they've included is a mini HDMI to standard HDMI, just one of those, and then a standard HDMI to DVI. So if you have a DVI monitor, or if you have a couple DVI monitors, I should say, you will be needed to buy an additional adapter for this card. You also get a full-size display port, and um, I generally prefer display port to HDMI where it is available. So nice to have that one on there as well. Uh, but then finally, for power requirements, we have two 8-pin PCI Express power connectors. That's as compared to the reference GTX 680 which uses two 6-pin PCI Express power connectors. And that is again because this card is factory overclocked and also has that uh, custom design with the custom power delivery made by Galaxy. Next up, we're gonna take a look at some benchmarks. And as previously mentioned, I got a chance to benchmark this card in uh, one card configuration as well as two-way SLI. So I'll be showing you guys both of those. Hope you enjoy, here are the benchmarks. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the Galaxy GTX 680 GC Custom White Edition. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos, and we'll see you next time.